It's time for this project. I always wanted to tow with the Model S and now finally we are doing it. I chose this hitch because it has a two inch receiver which you can get anything pretty much for a two inch receiver from any bike rack, cargo carrier or whatever ball mount you need to tow a trailer. So that was definitely one of the considerations. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, hitches with smaller than the two inch and then you just don't have all the options and may have to buy an adapter. Um, this particular hitch is the uh, eco hitch from Torque Lift Central but we ordered it from e-trailer because they had it on stock. Torquelift's uh, website says it may take two or three weeks, so I just ordered it from e-trailer, same price. Um, so this hitch here has a 300 pound uh, tongue weight and a 2000 pound towing capacity. That's the rating on this hitch. There is no other hitch that has a higher rating but uh, that's basically all we need with 300 pounds tongue weight and 2,000 pounds for a trailer. We should be fine. It's not like we want to tow some heavy stuff around. One thing you won't get to see me do is remove this here. This is the bumper fascia with the lower shield on it. And it's already off. I had to take that off a couple weeks ago because... Well, you need this hole down here this hole here that's where the hitch is gonna come out and uh, now I did not cut that I actually was able to trade this chrome piece and this black plastic piece with somebody so that I got the one with the hole because that other car had a hitch at some point but didn't have it anymore so we swapped parts and so I had to do this earlier and you just have to see how this works in reverse when I put it back on. As always you get a bunch of parts and some instructions and well these kind of suck. They're all black and white and you can't tell one thing from another so I don't know if they have any online that are better. I probably don't need much. Uh, I kind of know how it goes. I've installed hitches before so as long as I can read what it says there and understand that part, I should be fine. Sure enough, I'm a white washer, plastic washer short. And dang, kind of sucks. But what do you do? Well, I gotta find another one, I guess. So this sensor looks, <laughs> it's definitely in the way. I was trying to see if I can get away 
with leaving it there but uh, it sits right there where it needs to go and I think it'll be moved here on top of the hitch if I remember that correct. this wiggles so these four posts or bolts had already a washer on it and so if I push it in on them it sticks out on the bottom so that's not a good thing something will have to give uh, in this case, I think I remove the washers that were there from the factory. There is these washers that were under there. And uh, there's a little lip right here, so that's probably why. But uh, I don't know. Right now they're causing an issue, so I'm going to remove them. Instructions require 40 foot pounds. So I couldn't find a nylon washer, I was pretty sure I had one but I don't. So I'm going to reuse one of those factory washers instead. 
I assume the nylon washers are to prevent corrosion between the steel and the aluminum. But that said, previously we had these washers on there too and uh, well, there was not really any corrosion going on either. So I'm just going to reuse this so we got the same space anyway. And uh, this just goes over here where uh, it's going to hold this bumper basically. So I don't see a problem there. Um, I don't think it's going to corrode away in the next 10 years on me here. Then they got these couplings here that go onto the inside studs down below. There's a couple brackets that I'm pretty sure will attach there into the hitch. Okay, let's go correct size. Torque them to 40 pounds. There's a little tricky. There's 10 millimeter and 3 eighths and the lock washer just uh, didn't fit. So I had to make sure I find the right one. Nut bolt that's 40 foot pounds. The other bolt is 30. I got it. Okay, so now the sensor um, obviously no longer fits there. So, and they remove it from the bracket. And there's different types of sensors. And I chose pictures for the different kinds. But basically for this one it says to put it here on the back plate. Interestingly, they chose a nice flat back plate and their picture and this here is not flat so the middle section here is raised uh, and it says to use velcro and basically put it right on there so not sure yet how I'm gonna do this I wonder if this fits back here no this doesn't fit behind the hitch either 
So, not quite 100% sure yet if I maybe move it off to the side or what I should do. So look at this a little closer. So, after a little more reading and looking at these black and white pictures, um, <laughs> there is another option and uh, since I only have this bumper here basically and nothing below it, they say I can reinstall this upside down. So it was in like this on the two bolts on there and they say I can reinstall it like that. I'm just not quite sure how I'm supposed to get that up there at this point. <laughs> this would have been early on a good time to do before we put everything back on before we put uh, the bumper here back on basically I could have just installed this so I gotta see if I can fiddle this up in there um, yeah I don't know It's super close, but it won't go. Um, I'm gonna try taking it apart like this. See if I can get it in, reassemble it. If not, I gotta undo the bottom bolts here so I can bring this out, put this in first, and redo the whole thing. We'll see. Got it in there, got it back together, I brought the bracket in, brought the sensor up, attached it to the one side of the bracket, flipped the bracket up 90 degrees so I could get the screw in. But now here on the right hand side, uh, I can't slide it onto the bolt, onto that stud. There we go, because it was too close to the hitch so I just bent the stud up a little bit. That's the easiest. And now I should be able to reattach that. I gotta see where my wire is. Oh, there we go. I don't even use uh, the zip tie that they gave me. Uh, I just clamp these other clamps back on here. So that should do the trick. Got no more wires hanging around. So that's about it. And basically now the fascia needs to go back on. Putting the fascia on is not really hard, taking it off is not really hard. So along the top here it's basically just clipped in. There is one bolt going through here, same thing on the other side. And then on the bottom, that's where most of the work is, there is a bunch of screws and bolts and push pins <laughs> that you need to all put back on. So I'm going to see if we can get this back end here on and uh, to get under there you gotta have it uh, up on a lift or uh, on jack stands or on ramps or something to get under there and do the rest of the stuff because there's a whole bunch of yeah screws and bolts and push pins that need to be reattached under there um, yeah, and they're taken apart here on the sides this here this is all just clipped in um, there's one bolt, one screw under there, so you gotta get under the, uh, let's see if we can even see that here. So there's one screw under here, and you gotta get under the wheel well liner there for that little screw. Same thing on the other side. 
but other than that it's just uh yeah it's pushed in right there clipped in so not very hard to do it's just a lot of push pins and screws and things so let's see what we can do Just realized there's a there was a washer there. Oops! Now it came off on the other side too. <laughs> it's like a, a rubber kind of washer. Now I gotta find it. All right, there it is. So it's this here. Just a rubbery washer. And I need to go find the second one. <clears throat> so all we gotta do is line the bumper up right here. It will clip in right around here. And it will clip in right there and we got the hole right here that's where the silicone is so it just needs to go in there and here but we're starting in the back we need to line up the two bolts and go from there and it's a lot easier if you got two people Okay, I'm gonna see if I can clip it in on this side first here. So I got a little help holding it. Ah. So two people is the trick anyway. With two people it's simple. Okay, there's the back. Now we gotta see if we can get this in. There we go, there's a little bolt right here going up, a little screw that we'll need to put in. Now they're all in. All right, I think that's about it. Let's take a closer look here. So yeah, from the inside here and there, I don't know if you can, the light is not so great. Right there, up in there, there's a screw that I need to put in. But other than that, it just clips in along the top. 
and then same thing over here we got to put that screw in there then it'll be good well that was that part so we got the bolts in here they're actually in that hole right there so I got to get in there in that and uh, so this one here that's the one here got to do these two bolts and then I got to get got to get uh, under there and do all the screws and bolts that go from the bottom up to hold this in place Mike from the future here this was Mike from the past or am I in the present I don't know by the time you're watching this it's all history anyway <laughs> so I have to apologize but I did lose the footage of uh, reattaching the underneath um, all these bolts screws and push pins that go under there I had footage of it somewhere I don't know where it is can't find it um, yeah unfortunately I do have to work a real job to make money I'm not a full-time youtuber and I also got to edit all these videos by myself <laughs> and I recorded quite a bit uh, this summer and so I messed this up somewhere I have no clue can't find it so I hope you understand now that said it's really not that hard to do and actually you can go check out one of my other videos I'm gonna put a link down below in the description and I'm gonna see if we can make one pop up here at the top of the screen that takes you to the video of uh, how you can get a uh, Tesla service manual for free Tesla still offers free access to the service manual and so you could look up in there on how to remove and reattach uh, this uh, rear bumper fascia so I'm sorry about that unfortunately yeah it happened but anyway um, please give us a thumbs up for this video if you haven't done so yet please subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos and uh, go down below in the description and click the link to our Redbubble store go check out the store I mean we, we sell socks you know and uh, shower curtains I mean that's pretty cool isn't it oh I, I just remembered we also have t-shirts and hats so <laughs> and it's all kind of inspired by sustainable transport and sustainable energy so go check that out please well that is it for today thank you for watching goodbye